So I'll be talking today about the human circadian rhythm. The At midnight, you know, between midnight and 6 a.m., we have the lowest heart rate, lowest body temperature, obviously we're sleeping. Between 6 p.m. when it gets dark and midnight, we have the greatest muscle strength and the start about when it gets dark is um, secretion of melatonin. Between noon and 6 p.m., we have the fastest reaction rate time right, right after. And from 6 a.m., about when we get up, um, as humans, not individuals, um, until about noon is the most rapid rise in blood pressure and the highest risk of cardiac arrest. Now, I took this to mean, how do we find calm? How do we find calm earlier in the day? How do we let that in and then live that way? No matter if we're rushing, if we have appointments, no matter what's going on. So a friend of mine gave me this deck of, like, these cards, which say, calm. You know, today I will find a few minutes of calm by. And I did it for seven days, not clowning the Sabbath. And I really think that um, it's pretty amazing. So I just, I'm mixing them up randomly from any day. And each day is going to have one. So here it says, respect your calmness because it is the loudest voice of your strength. Today, I will find a few minutes of calm by not forcing anyone to accommodate my needs, but by directly accommodating them for myself. Being alone in peace and quiet when I need it. Getting use of medicines by letting stuff come up and out. Seeing myself through my own eyes with pity and understanding, taking my own side. Shifting from a punishing him mindset or punishing her mindset with someone I'm setting boundaries with to a self-protection mindset. Seeing the humiliation of another as an opportunity to relate. Not to be humiliating myself or identifying as the humiliator. Letting the tears out as needed. The next one says, when you stay calm in the midst of the storm, you will feel peace that passes all understanding. Today I will find a few minutes of calm by making art because I like it. Not getting mad, not getting... Um, when I made a mess, you know. There are examples of giving myself permission to feel or to know with my whole body by sensing the information more holistically. Having boundaries of doing it even if I only agree to do it at my pace because of keeping the momentum of the day. Being a channel of the database of expanding the network, part of which is making it stronger and more girded in the core, fundamentally established. The next says, the best way to capture moments is to pay attention. This is how we cultivate mindfulness. By the way, the last quote, when you stay calm in the midst of the storm, you'll feel peace that passes all understanding. That's from Joel Austin. This one, the best way to capture moments is to pay attention. This is how we cultivate mindfulness. This is from John Kabat-Zinn. Paying attention, right? So I wrote, letting my meditation be, today I'll find a few minutes of calm by letting my meditation be a time to settle into everything exactly the way it is. Trusting rest is being integral. Trusting my hard work needs a wick, a landing pad, something to be filled up with the energy. I'm connecting with to harvest or generate personal supply, allowing the weight for the, you know, whatever it is, I wrote weed because I was waiting because I was having a lot of physical pain that day, um, to be a redirector, to see what does flow, what is life not needing to be improved or enhanced on, believing that everything will and can connect to resolve, and I don't have to force the pieces to stick together, practicing being with the desire, oh, uh, I don't have to stick everything together, right, force the pieces, and finally, practicing being with the desire not yet fulfilled instead of jumping maybe to denial or suppression. The next quote says by Paramana, uh, Paramahansa Yogananda, retire to the center of your being, which is calmness. Today I'll find a few minutes of calm by letting myself have a private and personal view, even as I connect with others because they have their own inner child and inner body. And connecting with, one, the age of me trying to get attention, validation, encouragement, or love. Two, connecting with the part of the body making the sound, where is the sensation or experience being colored by, which location, is there stuck energy? And three, expressing self-soothing, being gentle, um, you know, so what age, where in the body, and then what do I need? Um, expressing, um, in this third one, self-soothing, maybe rubbing my heart or stomach, naming the state, maybe I feel hurt or afraid, what, you know, what can I do? The next one says, smile, breathe, and go slowly, that's Thich Nhat Hanh. Today I'll find a few minutes of calm by being a love giant, learning to drift, being solo, being in charge, in flow, with the current moving me, attractiveness as a magnet that doesn't require effort. I'll own that I wanted to love someone who wanted to judge me in the past, and so now I'm noticing that their judgments don't feel as significant when I'm not actively trying to love them into feeling past judgments. Sometimes doing things half-assed or not 100% just so I could let go of over-exactness perfectionism that gets in the way of my forward motion. Um, the next one says, Calmness is a huge gift by Jerry Larkin. Today I'll find a few minutes of calm by believing what I do is enough. 
because I'm still the observer after the action, like I was before the action. I'll trust that soon I'll be on the other side, so it's worth enjoying the process of activity, of being the verb, of knowing that many ends is a beginning from another, that many ends are a beginning at another angle, that being finished isn't better than starting. To make peace with a journey lying ahead, I have to be okay with uncertainty, incompleteness, and trusting I'm steadfast, and life is steadfast, and the creator is steadfast. So being is steadfast even in doing. And the last one I'll read today is, nothing can bring you peace but yourself, from Ralph Waldo Emerson. Today I'll find a few moments of calm by, um, in being open between the reference points for the space, to be separating or connecting and to acknowledge it's not good for the root concept to be ignored when I'm actually living with others. So to stay present, even if the other makes my role be something that feels very against, to let others' ability to interpret reflect their own mottos, mottos and worth, to let the part of me that shows me what needs to change be a part that the changing part listens to, and to trust that I'm loved even in the transition because I've been created not to be alone. And I'll end off with one more prompt. This is something I'll leave you off with. Um, that, you know, obviously each day, let's match our circadian rhythm. Let's find a way to let calm into the body for the day for the sake of why. Why should I want to be calm, right? It, because of this rushing ahead mentality. So what can we do that shifts this perspective that if we're calm, we don't give up on everything. It's not like we're just going to stay and be passive. I want to bring in this other piece, which is three things I'm looking forward to. And I recommend that after you do these calm exercise for a few days, you can reconnect better with what you want in the future. I guarantee for myself that, you know, um, my own experience that it was, it was pretty cool. So now I'm going to read, um, my friend did this too, by the way. And he said he would, for the future, he gave longer ones, but I remember in short, he said serenity. He looks forward to wholeness and acceptance. So, um, just checking out some food on the stove for the Sabbath. So number one, my family, my land, my house, my garden, my nature, my peace. I look forward to that. Not to say my, 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 but just what, what's, what's for me? What's for me? Um, I look forward to my own version of all that. Second, I look forward to being healed in my waisty hip area um, and my eyes and the shoulder neck area and my spine and the neck without alignment. So like healing. And number three, to see beauty and all, even something that appears to be like a blemish, like the hairs I have that grow or... You know, if I think my hair doesn't look nice or I think, some, you know, something's not happening the way it should. So, you know, in this case, there's, there's calm that brings us into our true self. And from that place, we could look forward to something where we don't need to rush. There's no pressure. I wish you a beautiful weekend. Um, we would say, according to the Jewish tradition, that after this 10 days of, you know, downloading the New Year Code program, this Sabbath is about uniting in the tetragram. It's in the yod with the vav -Hey. So the presence with the countenance. And, um, and then there's this eight-day holiday called Sukkot. I won't be able to do a lot of videos on some of those days, um, but that would be like a divine hug for, to, be, to be in that hug, that spiritual presence hug for eight days. Wishing you the best. Thank you for spending time with me.